There's something called Hebb's law. It's a neurological law that was discovered. And it basically says in short that neurons that fire together, wire together, which means that if you do the same thing over and over with the same emotions, the same feelings, the same thoughts, the same actions, and those things happen together repeatedly, they'll wire together as a habit. And so we know this, this makes sense to us, but sometimes we don't necessarily know the implications. And so the implications when it comes to alcohol is that, you know, if we believe that alcohol relaxes us or it's fun, even if our first drink doesn't confirm that, like my first drink just kind of made me feel dizzy and weird, but we do it again because everybody encourages us like, oh yeah, well, you know, have another one. Or maybe we're already in pain and because alcohol is a numbing agent, that first drink can feel really good because it alleviates some of the pain. And so as soon as that happens, the brain learns and then we do it again and the brain learns again and again and again. And then we have these, I call them like ruts, like these wires of thought, pattern, thought, emotion, and action in our brains that we've done for years and years and years. And all of a sudden, abruptly on a dime, we have one conscious thought that's like, hey, like I want to stop drinking because it's causing me pain. And so we do it. We try to stop. But what we don't realize is that there is this massive habitual pattern that's very pro-alcohol. And that pattern is just going to automatically fire all the time.